Part 3 of me trying to save my Alocasia poly from spider mites. I just found this cute purple pot and some potting mix. This is just African violet potting mix. It's basically what I use for everything. Um, at this point, I was trying to be really gentle uh, with the plant because it had been through a lot of trauma. So I was trying to save it from any other shock. And I'm here I'm just making sure I place the soil evenly all over the base of the plant. And there you go. I know the pot looks a little bit small, but whatever. Okay, so this is the final results after um, I watered and misted the plant. Hopefully the spider mites are gone for good and don't return, but I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Good question. So you're probably not ever just going to find a large aerial root right off the bat like this one. What you're probably going to see is something like this, just a little guy starting to grow. Eventually, once he gets to about this length, then you can pop him in some water. You can just pick them up and pop them right in the water. I hope this cleared things up, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I like to propagate my ficus elastica, also known as the rubber plant. I personally like to propagate all of my plants in water. First, you're going to find a leaf that you want to propagate. I usually try to go from the bottom. Then you're going to find some sharp, clean scissors. Like I said, I like to take mine from the leaf, but you could also cut from the stem. This way you'd get a larger cutting. I'm going to do it from the leaf, just like that. And there you go. There's your cutting. Then, after you get your cuttings, you can take them, put them in some clean water in a jar. Set these guys in a bright space. Soon you'll start to see little tiny roots growing from the bottom. Just remember to change the water when it gets murky. This will allow more oxygen to reach the plant. Leave a comment if you have any other ideas for a video. Thanks! Hey! Don't worry, girl! I got your back! From right here. Guess what? Grows the economy. Benefits everybody. Hurts nobody. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the fiddle leaf fig plant. It's one of my favorites, but I don't hear about it often. First things first, these guys like to have tropical soil with good drainage. I recommend adding perlite to your soil. Avoid watering these guys too often. Wait until the soil is dry about an inch under the surface to water. These guys like to have bright and indirect light. It's also super important to have a good drainage system to avoid getting root rot. A good tip is to use a sock to clean the leaves because they won't cause any damage. I do this about once a week. This will get rid of any dirt or dust that can affect photosynthesis. Also, feel free to pluck off the dead leaves at the bottom of the tree. This doesn't hurt and it will improve growth for the rest of the plant. And those are my key tips when caring for your fiddle leaf fig tree. Thanks for watching! Hey everyone, so the other day on Facebook Marketplace, I came across this Alocasia poly. Now, I've been looking for one of these guys for a long time, so I was super excited when I saw this. I actually got this plant for free because, as you can see, it is infected with spider mites. So, basically, I've come up with this little remedy that I hope is going to work. Uh, this is all the stuff you're going to need, a bowl of water, hydrogen peroxide, paper towel, and dish soap. So, we're just going to get the water and mix some hydrogen peroxide in there with it. I didn't really do exact measurements, but it's basically half water and half hydrogen peroxide. Add a little bit of dish soap and mix it up. And then you're just going to get the paper towel wet with this solution and wipe it all over the leaves and stems. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but come back for part two.